I mean, is it really true that they're just a villain? They were born a villain? That every day, every moment is villainous? I don't think so. So the question is very sobering to say that person's problem behavior evokes in me the question, why would they do that? I mean, maybe they aren't reasonable and um, um, rational and decent, but if you take that stance for just a moment, and if I could you know, give you your favorite reinforcers in a basket for answering this question, could you do it? Could you put yourself in, this is anthropomorphic or ego, centric enough to get into their shoes to say, wow, if I turn it from, they might be doing it for these reasons. I still don't agree, and I still need to help move that behavior and select for something else. But this is not about them being bad. They're not, like we say about the animals to our clients, your dog is not sitting up all night on the internet sharing ways to screw you up the next day, right? right? But the same thing is true for us. How often do these wobbly relationships we have or our clients have in ways that are interrupting building a great environment for their animal, how often is it really the result of somebody waking up saying, today I'm after you? I mean, it's, it's a very, very rare occurrence. So we need to get figuring out that rationale, which is again about being curious. And then the third um, story mistake is that you're helpless. Very rarely, when you don't allow yourself the helpless card, like you're helpless on a, we need a game board, right? When you don't even pick up that helpless card, then I think you'll find that there is always room for you to use your abilities in some way to move that situation. And the sobering question or facilitating prompt is, what do I really want? What do I want for me? with this client? What do I want for the client? What do I want for the client? And what do I want for our relationship? Because answering, a answering that question is incredibly empowering. Right? So I could walk, I could yell, I could roll my eyes and judge, but will any of those behaviors get me to what I really want with this person? And I think very often, shocking though it is, we don't know what we want but we're willing to lose it. We don't even know what the it is. So when we're working with that client, what do we want? Do we really want them to be mini-me's? Is that necessary? Do they have to do everything, agree with everything? That's not gonna work. What do we want for their, their outcomes? What do we want for them? And then of course, what do we want for the relationship with the animal, with the other family members? So retrace that path by noticing your villain, victim, helpless stories, by asking yourself these really empowering prompts is what they are. They're prompts, and then once we get fluent, we don't have to ask ourselves these questions because we will just fluently move in those ways. You wanna start by your actions or help them think about their actions and then go backwards to identify the emotions that got them to act that way go back to figure out what story they told themselves, and then go back to the facts. So we need to hold on to those facts for dear life. Those facts are our, our life preserver. Okay. But let's say you've already got those emotions triggered, so you're already hopped up on adrenaline and cortisol, right? How do you get unstuck? All right, well, First of all, you can do pre-planning, upfront work. You can ask yourself, what are the conversations that keep uh, providing me this uh, flypaper I'm standing on and can't get off on? So think about it for a moment for yourselves. Jot it down. What, what conversations are you spinning your wheels, that part of the wall you keep banging your head against, even though the consequences are at least a mixed bag of punishing and reinforcing in some way. What do people gripe about at work? What do you complain about over and over? What do you complain about at home? What are the problems that you're continuously trying to fix but you're not getting anywhere? So when I help people working with clients, the consultants or the supervisors in a 